What's up, guys? Welcome to the Sports Fury. I'm Josh. Are you sure? Fuck you, Jonathan. Uh, that's Jonathan, guys, by the way. and uh, Your name's Joshua, not Sh- Josh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind Joshua. Joshua makes it seem like, you know, it seems like prestigious like your piece and, of shit? And, and strong, you know, like like a warrior's name or something like that. Joshua. But Jonathan, that sounds just like, you know, someone needs to, to check your uh, browsing history because you're probably going to go to jail with that. Um, anyway... <laughs> We're talking about, in this very video, season ticket holders getting their tickets revoked. Oh, my God. The Denver Broncos, they're starting – well, they didn't start. Yes. But um, they are really cracking down on season ticket holders not attending games, and they're revoking them from the the season ticket holders. Now, uh, that's something that they can do. Any – I think any – every – every team in every league – can do that. Uh, my father, he uh, is a season ticket holder with the Chicago Bears. He, you know, he he was on the waiting list forever, and he finally got on that uh, on that list. And yep. uh, I buy it along with him. So, two season tickets to the Chicago Bears, despite us living in Dallas. And uh, and sometimes, you know, we can't make the games. I haven't been I haven't been to a game in a while because of my work schedule. And yep. you know, um, and if we can't make a game. Or if I can't make a game, then what my dad does, he, he gives the tickets to um, family members, you know? He's got a ton yeah. of brothers. Uh, I got a ton of cousins, and they're all diehard Bears fans, and they all, he just, like, hit, there you go. And they go to the games, and they have a great time. You know, we keep it in the family, yeah. right? But here's what the, the Denver Broncos don't like. They don't like season ticket holders not going to the games and selling them on the open market, like like on StubHub, for example. Mm-hmm. And they can find that out. You know, they can find that. You know, uh, you know, with those barcodes on the t- on the tickets, they can find out if, yeah. t- if the tickets are being sold online. And yep. if they find out that you're doing that, they're going to revoke your your uh, season tickets. And uh, now they're not saying they're going to revoke them for if you do that at all once. But if your majority of the games are being sold online right. to them and you're not actually taking advantage of being a season ticket holder, then they will revoke it. That's what they're looking at. They're not looking at you know, if you're selling at one time a year. They're looking at if you're mainly selling them online. That means yeah, they, because they want these fan, these they want real fans going to the games exactly. and have the right to be a season ticket holder. Exactly. Um, because that sucks for – like when we go to a Cowboys game – Pretty much every time I buy a nosebleed ticket or any ticket at a Cowboys game, it's always an online ticket, right? It's never a real, actual ticket, and that's because a lot of these companies that I, you'll see it, and it's a company that I'm buying it from, and it, it sucks uh, because they buy up all they, the tickets, right? They buy up the tickets and then they jack up the prices and they they kind of manipulate the market in that sense. So um, I love this. I I hate. Applause for them, you know, because well, I mean, I, I love this for a regular fan. I think it's great. Yeah, for yeah, I, I, it makes sense for the organization and for the yeah. fans, you know, for the other season ticket holders. You know, they don't want to see opposing fans coming into their stadium well, and taking it over. Like well. for example, you know, when me and Sean went to the Chicago Bears and Dallas Cowboys game, he in in um in <sighs> Dallas at the Cowboys yep. Stadium. It was mostly Bears fans. Oh, well, it was like half and half. That's and it was true. Like, and it was just That's like another Holy reason. shit, you know. Um, but, uh, so it's a good way to crack down on that, but at mm-hmm. the same time, you know, think about it like this, Sean, when we bought our tickets to our game, to the games that we went to last year, like the Tennessee game, uh, yep. to the Tampa game, to the, uh, Chiefs and Raiders game, yeah. uh, we got those tickets from season ticket holders of, of those stadiums. Yeah, of right. Course. Those are those are because those are hard tickets. Yeah. Those weren't yeah. electronic. Those are hard tickets. So yeah. if this is going to be being cracked down. He- this heavily by every team in the NFL, then um, does this suck for people like me and you who want to go traveling and go to these games? No, no not at because, all. Because because a lot of a lot of the good seats are taken up by season ticket holders. Yeah, but not every – you can't go to every single game. When you're a season ticket holder, you're not going to be able to go to every single game, and they understand that. But if you're literally not going to any of the games or you're – like there was what, eight – Eight home games in a regular season, right? Yeah, and you're only going to one or two. Come on now, like, and and, and, I, and I know there's people out there who will also say, "Well, you know what? Hey, 
that's if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. There's gonna be people who make yeah. that argument, like, hey, it's your money. If you want to fucking buy yeah. se- expensive season tickets to an, to, uh, yeah. an NFL team and you want to do whatever you want with it, that's your business. And that there, is there is that argument different. as well. But this is where it comes into play because I'm glad you brought this up earlier about the the home fans, right? I've been, me and you have gone to plenty of uh, Cowboys games, and. I see uh, so many other fans there. Yep. Uh, for example, when we went to the Bears and Cowboys game, that uh, not this, we not last hard, year, boy. Not Woo! last year, but the, like, what was it? I don't know, four oh. or five years ago. And and y'all, it, I, I felt like there's just as many Bears fans there than Cowboys. We rolled deep, baby. And and I'll say this: I remember it was a couple years ago. This was still when Romo was playing, before he got hurt. So maybe three years ago. Um. It was Dallas and Houston, mm-hmm. and Romo came out and said, "This is the first time I've ever had to do a, do a hard count in my home stadium, uh, or silent count. I'm sorry, not hard count, silent count. Th- what that means, anybody that doesn't know, that means he couldn't, the lineman couldn't hear him say hut. He had to tell them what the count was, and that's before. not something a home team." Really no, experiences. you you shouldn't. The, the, the fans should the be louder team. when you're on offense. They should be quieter so the offense line and quarterback can communicate. But they're having to do that. You only do that when you're away when the other fans are being too loud. So <laughs> there's it's like that. That's the point when it comes into play because that's affecting the team. So the team the, and owners and what not, the team overall has to control that yeah. and understand, okay, we need our fans here because they're just like, for example – the Bears, right, or or whatnot. The, if if more people are buying those tickets, for example, and you ha- your dad had to be on a waiting list for a long so, time, for a long ass time, right? Think about this: they're on a waiting list for a long ass time. Real fans that will go to the game all the time. If yep. not you, your family members who are diehard fans, right? Yep. But you have these companies buying the tickets and holding on them because they're making a profit off of this shit, so they're going to keep buying, right? Mm-hmm. So, Does that really sound fair? Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. So I think ultimately this is a good move for uh, organizations to do this. Uh, hands down. You know, and uh, now some of these people who uh, tried to appeal to the Denver Broncos that got their season tickets re- revoked, some of them tried to have legitimate reasons. Like one guy said that, hey, you know what? I'm sick. You know, I'm not doing well. So I can't attend a lot of games. So I sell my I sell my tickets. And uh, Bronco yeah. said, no, don't want to hear it. Some guys – and then another, this one other person said that, hey, you know what? Uh, my mother, she's not doing very well, you know? And what I do is I sell my season tickets, you know, every, all the, the home games to mm-hmm. try to pay for some of those bills. It, and, uh, and it helps with that. And Bronco said, nope, nope. That's not it. We, no, yeah. We're not going to we're not gonna put up with that from anyone, no matter yeah. what the excuse. They want – they're season ticket holders attending the games because, like you said, yeah. there are so there are thousands, and this is every team pretty much. Yeah, uh, there are thousands and thousands of people who are on their waiting list, waiting for those tickets, just dying to get a chance yeah. to get season tickets, and they will go to every single game, and uh, you know, and then pass those tickets down, you know, onto their kids or whatever. Because like that's yeah. what my dad did; he was on the waiting list forever, and yeah. he finally got them. And uh, and he's gonna eventually, you know, solely give them to me. The, the yep. his, 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 you know, his season tickets. I I help him out with uh, uh, the money every single year when it's time to you know buy up the you know you gotta pay for the tickets. Yeah. And, and then we always try to upgrade our, our tickets every time, every year. Um. And uh, and if we if we can't make it, we keep it in family. You know, we we, we you know my uncles, his brothers, or uh, some of my cousins. They they go to the games if we can't make it because you know we live here in Dallas. Yeah. And uh, yeah. But uh, we, we don't sell them on StubHub or anything like that. Um, yeah, we keep it com- we keep it in family. So it's we'll just, never it, get it comes to that. the fact that they want real fans at the games, real fans enjoying the game. And and the funny thing is, I've been um, I've gone to the I've gone to games. And how many times have you looked down and you see the seats empty, right? And there's tons of seats empty down below. Oh, in yeah. the first sections. I know that. Like, yeah, the Cowboys games. Yeah, all the and time. we're like, why? Why? And the reason why is because it's not a fan that owns it. Because, for example, if I bought some TV tickets, right, and like, okay, maybe I'll sell this game, I'll sell that game, right? But then oh, I can't find anybody to sell it, so you know what? I might as well just go. 
but it's these companies that buy it too. That's the problem. I, you know, I don't really mind season ticket holders uh, owning them if they actually like the team and they're wanting to go. But it's these companies that are buying them too that are – if they can't sell them, then they don't really have anybody to go with because it's a company that owns them, right? So they're just trying to sell them. Right. And so, so it comes into play into that. And I, I also look at it like this, man. Season ticket holders get priority in a lot of shit. When you're a season ticket playoff holder, games? you get first dibs of playoff games at fucking cost. They're not Face raised. Face value. Yeah. Face value, which is which is a great fucking deal. Which is why and I need to get my those. fucking season tickets for the goddamn Chicago Cubs. You get oh those and then you fucking you resell <laughs> those too for ten times as much as you usually would. You know, so there's there's so many privileges you get as a season ticket holder. Um, you know, and that's why I think that I love this move by the Denver Broncos. Hopefully every team does it, especially the ones that have a waiting list. Right. See, there might be some teams that don't have a waiting list, but the ones that do should really implement this. Yeah, I don't think the Bobcats probably don't have a fucking waiting list. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think them. Maybe or, uh, <laughs> who? 76ers. The 76ers don't have, probably don't have a way. I mean, well, they're they're a blue collar city. Maybe they do. Uh, so what are some NFL teams that probably don't have a fucking waiting list? Uh, uh, Jacksonville. Jacksonville Jaguars. Probably. Probably Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. Shout out to UCF. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, no, let's see. But they just haven't been that good recently, so they got to build up their, you know, fan base. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I oh, think I'm gonna hear some shit from UCF. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna, it's oh, gonna. Man. I think yeah, this is a this is a good move by the Denver Broncos, and I uh, I do hope that you know all the other teams uh, follow suit of this um, and keep real fans going to the games. And if yeah. you are a season ticket holder and uh, you, you're worried that, oh, I can't make games, then you know what? Don't sell them on the open market. Don't sell them to StubHub or anything like that because they're going to find out. Yeah. You know, uh, give them to a family member. Like, that's, what, that's yeah. what my father does. Give them to a family member, you know, keep it in-house. You know, don't don't go sell yeah. it on, on StubHub for like twice or three times the amount. Don't be an asshole, you know. But then again, uh, you guys – Guys, let us know what you guys think in this comment section. Do you agree with what the Broncos are doing? Are really cracking down? Do you think other teams should follow suit? Or do you think, hey, it's your hard-earned money, and if you got on that waiting list and you got the season tickets and you're paying for them every year and it's your damn right to do whatever you want with them mm -hmm. and that's your sentiment on it, let us know if that's how you feel about it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So let us know what you guys think, and be sure to hit that like, comment, Subscribe if you haven't already, which I don't know, see why you shouldn't be subscribed to us. Come on now, god damn it. And uh, share this video. Share yeah. this video with everybody you know. Everyone, including your mother. Everybody. <laughs> so, all right, guys, we'll see you in uh, another video. All right, all right. later, Jonathan. Later.